मतलब यू सी इट अप हाई इट्स टॉल द स्पीडोमीटर इज एडजस्टेबल इट हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज प्रोफेशनल मैनेजर यू आर वाचिंग ऑटो मेनिया गाइस वी आर बैक अगेन एट अंकुर इंजीनियर्स दुर्गापुर जावा एंड वी हैव विथ अस दियर लेटेस्ट ऑफरिंग द यस द एडवेंचर मोटरसाइकिल यस गाइस द सेम मोटरसाइकिल वी हैव ऑल हैव बीन वेटिंग ईगरली टू टेक अ फर्स्ट लुक वॉक अराउंड एंड नो अबाउट दिस मोटरसाइकिल सो गाइस इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल येट टू सब्सक्राइब डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल नोटिफिकेशन आइकन सो दैट यू गेट्स अपडेट इमीडिएटली आफ्टर वी अपलोडेड एनी काइंड ऑफ वीडियो So let's get started with cinematics first. Guys, as you can see, uh, my foot is uh, totally onto the ground, and I'm not having much of a trouble with this motorcycle. My height is around five feet seven. I'm not the tallest person on earth, neither the shortest. An average Indian height, jo jo ki hota hai five seven, five six, and I don't have any problem with this motorcycle. Matlab, uh, you can easily tip to in traffic, and the weight is not too high. It's around one eighty eight kg, so. That will also not be affected. So you won't be affected in in traffic. आप आराम से चला सकते हो दिस मोटरसाइकिल on day to day ride and you won't be having too much problem. The ground clearance is very nice as you can see. It's around 220 millimeters so that when you're going off road you won't be hitting onto the potholes or any kind of rocks very easily because the ground clearance is ample. Next is the way you sit in the motorcycle. You're getting quite a kind of good feeling, means good vibes in this motorcycle. मतलब you sit up high, it's tall. The speedometer is adjustable. It can be easily adjustable, adjusted up or down around five millimeters. I guess there are there are screws where you can adjust it. And overall, the seat seat feels comfortable. The fit and finish is perfect. There is no problem which I feel as of now with this motorcycle. Or more details, if you want to know. Please stay tuned to Auto Mania because the ride review of this motorcycle will really come soon in this channel. Right now we don't have any test vehicles because these are all new motorcycles and as of now it's all sold off. So we are awaiting the test motorcycle for this vehicle. And if you haven't watched the first look of the uh, Scrambler and the ride review of the Scrambler, it's already streaming in my channel. Do go to the description box; you'll find the detailed link. And another motorcycle which is from Yazdi, that's the uh, Yazdi Roadster. Even the first round, first walk around of that motorcycle is also streaming in Auto Mania. The details are in the description box. And guys, if you like what we do, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Auto Mania for exclusive automotive updates. Guys, as you can see, this is a brand new speedometer console of this uh, motorcycle, and uh, well, it's so much updated than its competitors. You have all the Bluetooth connectivity. You have the ABS modes where you can switch off on the ABS, and there are three modes actually: the road, the rain, and the off-road. In the road mode, what happens is your uh, now right now it's in road mode. All your ABS is on, front and rear uh, ABS is on. If you go to the rain mode. Then the tractability of the ABS will get increased, and the intervention of the ABS will get increased. So that will help you protect and save you in the rainy rides. And in the off-roading mode, what will happen is your rear ABS will switch off, so that you can have tons of fun when you are doing off-roading. You press down the down button; it's in rain mode. You again press down the lower arrow button. You are on off-roading mode, which means the rear ABS is switched off now, and you go back to the first selection, which is the road mode. So, guys, I have already given you the basic look and feel of this motorcycle. It's time we go to a bit more details and look forward to the technical and the hardware specifications of this Yazdi Adventure motorcycle. The all-new Yazdi Adventure is here to rival the Royal Enfield Himalayan. and classic legends had launched this new motorcycle in the same price range as the competition at the heart of the motorcycle is a 334 cc single cylinder liquid cooled engine that is linked 
to a six-speed gearbox. The motorcycle on the adventure is tuned to deliver a max power of 29.8 bhp at 8000 rpm and 29.9 newton meters of peak torque at 6500 rpm. The styling cues compromises a rugged design that looks very similar to the Royal Enfield Himalayan. The new Just the Adventure is designed for long distance riding and off-roading. The styling cues include a round LED headlamps, a tall windscreen, a tall set of front fenders, split style seats, side slung exhaust and wire spoke wheels. And yes, we have LED tail lamps, LED indicators as well. The color choices on the new Yazzi Adventures include Slick Silver, Mambo Black and Ranger Camo. The feature list on the Yazzi Adventure compromises full LED lighting, a Bluetooth enabled digital instrument console, a USB port, a USB-C type port and saddle stays are standard. The Bluetooth module brings in access to turn-by-turn -turn navigation and call and message notifications. The vehicle and rider details are available on smartphone application. The instrument cluster also features a tilt adjustability function that aims to deliver information very efficiently when seated or standing on the footpacks. The hardware on the new Yazzi Adventure compromises a dual cradle chassis. The suspension tasks are handled by telescopic front forks and a preload adjustable rear monoshock. The front forks and the rear monoshock suspension features a travel of 200mm up front and 180mm at the rear. The braking duties are handled by a 320mm rotor up front with a floating caliper and a 240mm rotor with floating calipers at the rear. The safety net compromises a continental sourced 3 level ABS which means you have 3 modes to choose from namely road, off road and rain. The motorcycle rides on 21 inches tires up front and 17 inches wheels at the rear wrapped around tube type tire. It boasts 220mm of ground clearance, 815mm of seat height and curb weight is around 188kg. Well, let's talk about the pricing now. This motorcycle can be all yours for Rs. 2,62,000 on road and this price might vary depending on which state or city you belong to. If you want to get this motorcycle on installments, well that brings to a down payment of around 51,000 rupees and 5,200 rupees EMI for 5 years. Well that's an attractive prospect, isn't it? And if you are interested in any kind of Yazzi offering in Durgapur region, you can get in touch with Ankur Engineers who are the sole distributors and sellers for Java and Yazzi motorcycles in Durgapur region. Guys, what about the exhaust note? Let's hear it. Well, 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 guys, smooth as butter. Guys, finally it's time to wrap up this episode of Automania. I will see in some other episodes of some automotive or technical content. And yes, if you are interested in the ride review, don't forget to subscribe and you know share this video from Automania because the ride review and the detailed review of all the motorcycles is coming soon in this channel. And yes, don't forget to press the bell notification icon so that you get the updates immediately. And yes, if you are in Durgapur region, feel free to contact Ankur Engineers Durgapur, who are the sole distributors of Java or Yazdi motorcycles. The details are given in the description box down below so it's time to wrap up this episode i will see you in some other episode and as i always say wear your helmets when you're riding wear your seat belts while driving and never drink and drive this is Prashant Manaji. you are watching automania signing off Ta -da.